hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you are someone who is obsessed with cli and live your happy life inside it but one day your boss sends you a spanish sentence and you need to translate it but you're too lazy to get it out of your terminal and translate that and especially if you are like using DuckDuckGo or any other you know search engine that has poorly you know google translate optimization then you're probably uh, going to struggle to find the meaning of that whole Spanish sentence but if it's a like general one you'll find it pretty easily but to get it like as quickly as possible I think Google Translate is the best one in this scenario right but well if you could just translate that whole sentence or anything that your boss or anyone sends you and whatever the language it is within the terminal itself because guys uh, as a Linux enthusiast we like try to do whatever we can inside the terminal right so that's the kind of uh, logic over here that i'm trying to put in yes of course yeah like it's a freaking terminal guys and it's year 2022 and you can literally you know fly a helicopter using terminal so why not just translate a language and uh, you know they're calling it translate shell the language the, or the tool that i'm going to show you right so this is the tool this is translate shell and for those 90s kids you may know this as google translate cli right you can pretty much translate any language literally any language because it's using google translate api by default although it has support for being yandex and apertm which i believe no one gives a fuck and cares about it and the reason it's using google translate it can identify the language of the source text automatically and translate cell by default translates the source text into the language of your local so if you don't know about local basically local is like the location that you set when you install your linux distro or whatever the ways you are using right so that's about the description that is translate cell now let's just see about how we can actually install that right and here's the here's the grid github profile the github page github repo whatever you want to call it uh for the translate shell and it has a uh, quite a few likes right okay let's just show you how it works guys and let's just say i want to trans something gracias so uh this is how it works basically you want to translate something you do trans and gracias this is how it works let's just see the prerequisites for that what are the things that you require first of all good thing that this uh, translate cell runs on all types of devices that has a black window with a name written on it right it's run on GNU Linux Mac OS all the type BSDs Android using Termux and obviously Windows guys so again I hope you're not using the shit but yeah so for the dependencies part these are the dependencies that you might require but I'll show you an easier way to install that you can also use docker right if in case you are into that so here's the portion where you can use it using docker so basically you to use docker you need to run this command and then follow the procedure right also you can download the self content executable and place it in your path okay here's the portion for that how you can do that and they also support antigen okay so if you don't know about antigen antigen is a jersey plugin so it also works but guys as most of the distro packages managers has support for it we are going to use the distro version for this okay and that's about the installation part now let's just see how we can actually install it for that uh, to install in arch okay obviously guys i'm using arch so here's that okay so to install in arch what i do i use ea and then i'm going to run that translate shell right this is the translate cell and it will come the community translate cell i already have it installed over here right so in if you are using arch simpler way yeah translate arch that will do the job if you are using ubuntu apt install translate cell that will also do the job right but if not here's the thing guys you can do it directly install it for example uh, you do a git trans duplicate and then uh, give it uh, the executable permissions using chmod x and then that's it guys uh, it will start working right and if you are using git 
this is the another way you can build it from using it and that's it about installation guys so let's just see some of the uh, features first of all from any language to your language okay so for that what i can do is like trans uh, i'll just copy it guys from like my script what i have written so i'll just copy a song line okay uh and then try to paste it over here and so this is a song line uh, it's a french right if i search for it and here's the thing guys i got the uh, translation back and it means yes let's celebrate those who don't celebrate this is the meaning for that and here's the thing guys it took automatically detected the language and it translated automatically to english how again it's using the local guys uh, you can also translate any language to one or more specific language how uh, let's just also do that uh, trans let's just go for uh, i want to translate from espanol that is spanish to uh, i'll just do how are you right so i give english and i want it to translate it in bengali so here's the thing if you want to translate any language to one or more specific language what you need to do specify that language here this is the language that you will be actually seeing the output and here's the place where you will be giving the source in text right so hit enter and it gives the result back how are you in spanish como esta right so this is how it works como estas and if you want to do translate it in some other language you can also do that uh, let's just do french that is fr and if i hit enter right it translated into french if you want to translate it to something else you can also do that for example if i want to do it bengali i can also do that apni kemon achen yes uh, translation for that that also works right so basically whatever you language you want you can now you might be asking from where am i getting this uh fr wala uh, section right like uh these codes these tags like bn then fr well there's a section in here in this uh, page itself uh code list if you go there you'll be able to see all the code list guys literally all the code list that you want to like see the languages basically all the languages are available here so find your language try it you can also try like dutch which is i believe nl it's because it's netherland uh yes it's uh netherland it's doing the translation right so yeah it does all the languages and not only that you can also like try it over here like uh what you can do you can just do t trans dash t and it will give all the you know code list that you want to see it so you don't even have to go to a uh, browser to see it you can directly see it from over here and you can do man trans it will see like show you all the details presented in this section right that's about that now what if you want to translate a whole file into a file let's just say i just want to go w3.org right so let it open so here's the uh w3 page what if i want to translate it right so to translate this web page to the language i want to right for that it's pretty simple guys i just copy the link of that uh, website right i do trans and <clears throat> the language i want to uh want this website to be translated that is french you can do any language i'll just show you in french because i love french and german so that's that and if i do it will directly open into french guys see this is our uh, english detected and it's going to french so if you don't know in firefox they don't support you know google translation by default but yeah you can use uh, add-ons but this is how you can directly translate a language directly and it's pretty cool right so you can also do bengali or any other guys like bengali is my mother tongue by the way if you guys don't know so if i do bengali it will open in bengali i believe ah uh, no it did not no it did not yeah so being it doesn't have support for bengali uh, my bad okay where am i living okay um so that about that uh, now what if you want to translate text file 
right i'll just create a quick test file uh, oh i have already guys i'll just show you so for that uh, i'll just show you what i have in that text file uh, in that text file i have how are you okay i've already made a one oh no it did guys <laughs> sorry uh, my bad it did guys uh, here's the bengali translation it did so actually nice uh, so to translate a file into a specific you need to do trans fr or any other i'll just do it in french and then you do file dash uh, you know not dash colon and then slash and then the file name okay this is my file name here i am actually uh, referring to that file name giving the path and i'm translating into french okay hit enter and komikawa that's giving me the translation i can also do it in like uh nl which is dutch i believe yeah it's giving me the language if i go translate that so from dutch to english how are you right and here it is i'm transferring from english to dutch it's giving me the meaning so basically it's working because obviously guys it should be same what they're using the google api so obviously that, that is going to be same you can even open a web page on a specific browser with any language you want so how we can do that basically it's like trans then you give the browser parameter and then you specify a browser name right and then the like language that you want to uh, give let's just say i want to do french and then the specific uh, you know web page here you'll be providing the uh, web page link and if you hit enter it will directly go and again like do it so because i said uh, you know firefox that's why uh, so yeah that's how it works now i'll tell you the money feature of this uh, translate cell so let's just say that you are in a foreign language class or any place where you are using your laptop and you need to you know constantly translate language or anything right in case you're typing the whole command sometimes may be costly for example like uh, you're taking a class or someone is speaking to different language and you're like are uh, doing it like trans and then giving the parameter and then doing all these things right so it's kind of like you know you're doing like como estas and so you know how much uh, struggling i am doing struggling i'm doing right so how can i like do it in a simpler way you can use this interactive shell basically guys for example uh, i can open a shell like i can do shell and i can open do dash i and if i hit enter dash i it will open into this and uh, now what if i do como estas it will give me this uh, how are you what if i do like uh i don't know what this means but like let's just see be brief that means private life uh i just got this from here actually so yeah that's that you can directly do that but in this section it's doing the job fine right so what if like you want to specify a language specifically to so when you are specifying a specific language you need to use dot uh, dash shell right so shell and then you specific english to whatever uh, language that you want to transfer for example i want to transfer to french right i don't do that so now it's uh, showing me the english one so i do how are you right and that will give me komikawa right what if i do please subscribe right it's giving me the thing and you can probably if you type this is what it will come so that's it so basically this is how you can use it and that's all about translate cell let me know uh, if you liked it or not and guys if you liked it uh, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel uh, this is my channel span the slayer uh, you can subscribe to my channel and i post videos about linux related and development related stuff and i do live stream sometimes so this is one live stream this is another live stream and so that's it guys uh, if you like this video please like and i'll see you in the next video bye